Hey everybody, how you doing? The last video I did, I received a comment from BKBaller113 that said, Really enjoy your videos. Could the next video be about the NBA free agency coming up? Heck yeah, the next video can be about that BK Baller. Let's do this. Right now, it's all about LeBron James. The news today is that LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh all met in Miami this past weekend to talk about all three of them possibly joining the Heat. Could you imagine if that happened? All three of those guys in Miami? Wow, that'd be nasty. But the other news is that Miami is the front runner to land LeBron, but LeBron remains non-committal. The first part about Miami being the front runner, don't pay attention to that stuff. It's all just speculation. Chicago was supposedly the front runner the other day. Now it's Miami. Who cares? It's all just talk. There's no such thing as a done deal until there's actually a done deal. So just disregard all that stuff. That's my advice to you. The other part of this, LeBron remaining non-committal. I can see why. If you think about all of these options for LeBron, wherever he goes, or if he chooses to stay in Cleveland, there's a downside to every single one of his options. Every single one. Now, if you look at this from LeBron's perspective and not your perspective, not, I'm a Cleveland fan, LeBron should play for the Cavs, that makes the most sense, or I like the Bulls, so LeBron should go to Chicago, that makes the most sense for him. No, think about this from his perspective. There is a negative side to all of these options. Let's look at that. Let's start with Cleveland. Does Cleveland give LeBron the best chance to win a championship next year? No. Does Cleveland have more talent than some of these other teams that LeBron could go to? No. Look at it. Look at the Bulls. The Bulls have Derrick Rose, Joakim Noah, Luol Deng, and the money to sign another max player along with LeBron James. Could you imagine LeBron, Bosh, and the players I just mentioned? That'd be a much better situation than Cleveland. You look at Miami with LeBron and Dwayne Wade, maybe Chris Bosh, much better than Cleveland there too. Plus you look at the Cavs, they don't have the money to sign another player to compliment LeBron James, a big name player. So you'd have a similar team that you had last season, which wasn't even good enough to get to the conference finals. Plus the Cavs don't even have a head coach. So if you really look at the Cavs, other than being the home team for LeBron, they're not bringing a whole lot to the party here. Now you look at the Bulls, the downside with them is the most obvious. You're stepping right into the shadow of Michael Jordan. I mean, right into the shadow. Anything LeBron does is gonna be compared to Michael Jordan. You thought those comparisons between Kobe and Jordan were getting out of hand? Let LeBron go to Chicago and see what happens. If LeBron wins a championship, well, Jordan won six. LeBron wins his second championship. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but Jordan won six. That's all it would be. I can see why that wouldn't be the most appealing fit for LeBron. Then you look at Miami. Yeah, he'd be playing alongside Dwayne Wade, possibly a dynasty, but every championship LeBron would win, he'd be one shy of Wade. LeBron wins one title. Well, Wade has two. LeBron has two titles. Wade has three. How is that going to be great? It's not a an ideal situation for LeBron James. So there's a downside with all of these possibilities. And you think beyond that, whether it's Chicago or Miami or anywhere outside of Cleveland, part of LeBron's legacy is that he never won a championship in Cleveland. He never got it done. He never even won a finals game if he goes somewhere else. So this is a tough deal all the way around. No wonder this guy remains non-committal. I would be. I'm Brian No, and that's a no-brainer. Thank you